So this is Leicester Square, one of the hottest locations for basking musicians. And I've spotted uh, one singing guitarist that sounds really promising to me. So I will go, I will meet him and I'll try to play with him. I won't cry, I won't cry, no, I won't shed a tear, My name is Harvey, I'm from London, I busk here, and uh, yeah, I've lived here all my life. But you have like a very much inside view, because you yeah. have, yeah, you are a Londoner, <laughs> like a proper one. Yeah, yeah, I've lived here all my life, yeah, it's a lovely place. <laughs> yeah, indeed, but a little bit crazy, I think, sometimes. It is crazy, I need to get out <laughs> as much as I can. For how long have you been busking so far? Since uh, I was 18, so three years. And what's your background like? Uh, are you self-taught or, or are you, were you studying music? Tell me a little, a little bit more. I'm mostly self-taught. Uh, I started out on guitar, then I learned piano, then I learned to sing. Uh, I started when I was about eight years old and uh, I went to music school when I was 16. Okay, so, so between uh, eight and 16 you were just teaching your own teacher? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, I had uh, some guitar lessons here and there on oh, and yeah. off, but mostly I just learned by listening to a record or a CD and just learning oh, wow. by So ear. this must be like a strong desire to play, actually, to make music. Yeah, big time. I've, since I was eight years old, since when I started learning the guitar, I just loved music. It was all I wanted to do. So you are not only busking, but you have also other things you do. These days, most of the time, I play in my band. We, uh, we record in a music studio. We put stuff on Spotify. Uh, we're called Uncle Monty, by the way, okay. and um, yeah, we try to just get sort of uh, gigs around London. We play a lot in Shoreditch and New Cross, like those kinds of areas. Do you um, try also delivering your original music to the uh, when you're busking to the busking uh, audience? Yeah, when I'm busking, I play covers about 95% of the time. I do write my own songs. I play in a band, but. I find that I get a lot more money if I play a song that people know, like something by the Beatles always goes down well, Ed Sheeran, <laughs> you know, obvious stuff, uh, Oasis, but 
I throw in an original song every now and then if I'm feeling extra confident. Is it hard to predict what will you actually earn? It's very hard. I mean, if you go to central London, an area like this, Leicester Square, or like the Tate Modern is somewhere I go quite a lot. Oh, yeah. um, you never know what you're going to get. I mean, lunchtime is obviously a good time. The evening, Friday night, there's obvious times, but still, even when you do a peak time, you're never sure what you can get. It could be anywhere from 10 pounds an hour to sometimes 100 pounds. Did you ever need a license for, for busking? How, how do you do this? Or do you just show on, on this pod and you just play like that? I've never actually had a license to busk. In certain areas of London, you do need a license. <laughs> yeah. For instance, uh, uh, along the South Bank, you have to have a license. But places like Leicester Square, the Tate Modern, which is places I bus quite a lot, you don't need a license, but uh, it's sort of first come, first serve. You show up and you want to busk there, but a lot of the time there's a queue. So you have to wait. If there's someone busking there already, you'll have to wait for an hour until you can busk there. Oh yeah, so how, how does it actually work? Is it like hard uh, with, with this queuing? Uh, there is plenty of people that want to play. So do you sometimes have to wait for, very, for a very long time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some, I've waited up to three and a half hours oh. before. It, like, it's, uh, it depends how early you get there. I mean, um, yeah. you've got to ask the person who's busking when they finish their song um, how many people are in the queue. And uh, each person has one hour, usually, depending on the area and what people have agreed to. I'm glad I met this guy. Uh, his playing and singing is really good, and he's also a very sensitive person. He's like a touching musician, so definitely not one of those that you would just pass by, but you would uh, wait for a few minutes, you would listen a little bit more carefully. So, yeah, I'm very glad. Uh, well done. Mm -hmm.